here with Chris Blocker and defensive coordinator Stephen Grimion. Coach Grimion, overall thoughts before we start talking about individual positions. At times, and you can't really judge a team's overall success based on what they do on 7-on-7, seven on seven, but did you like how your defense performed, at least in the summer, in your 7-on-7s? Seven seven? Overall, uh, throughout the, the summer, the 7-on-7s uh, the seven went, went very well for us, considering how young we were. are. Um, we have a lot of key positions that we are filling with sophomores. And, and some juniors that are inexperienced, but uh, they're, they're learning quickly, and, um, they, and they're coming along. Works. Kind of the qu same question I asked Coach Blocker. With these young kids, now granted, you always want to win every game you play, 2017, but the chance to, with how young your team is, where we're teaching these kids, and then they just don't turn around and graduate. We get to teach these kids, and then next year they're going to have a better understanding of all that stuff. As a coach, do you look forward to that, to where, hey, my time, I can put my time in and then reap the benefits for years to come with these young kids? Yeah, and throughout the years, uh, I, we've been in these situations before where we, we played a lot of young kids early, uh, taking our bumps and bruises, big learning curve, but it pays off uh, – uh, next year and the year after, uh, such as uh, two years ago. Um, when Coach Blocker's first year, we had kids that we had started as sophomores. And when when Coach Blocker took over, they were seniors. And we had a, a very good season defensively. Um, and they understood the season going for you know, I mean, understood the system, excuse me, which makes a huge difference. And again, how much of this is, as the season progresses, your team your team may be a lot better at the end of the season than they are at the beginning of the season. Is that usually what happens with a young defense? Yeah, because as they learn the basics of what we do defensively, uh, you're able to add more to the defense as the season goes along. Whereas early in the season, you, you can't do as much simply because they don't know it yet. And as the, defense, as the defense progresses, as the season progresses, and as the learning curve starts to turn in our favor, then uh, you're able to do more defensively by the end of the season. All right, Coach Blocker, we're going to start. I like to start when we do defense outside in up front. And Coach Gurmion, you can add anything by any specific players that he may not even well, know about. I was going to tell you, when Coach uh, uh, talked about some of the inexperience and, and youngness that we have there on defense, as, as offensively speaking, as I said earlier, there are a couple of guys with some experience there. And I, I'll, I'll kind of tell you some uh, up front for us. Defensive lineman, senior Jacob Cross, who was a uh, starting linebacker for us last year, has uh, made some really good strides. We've decided to, uh, Coach Ramion and I got together, decided to go ahead and move him down to the defensive front, uh, specifically because there was a need there, but more importantly, he has certain skills that he brings to the table up front for us, and he'll be playing up there with senior uh, Gavin Josevius, uh, and, and, and then that, that third guy up front is still kind of up in the air. There's a couple of, a couple of guys you know, bidding for that, that position there. Not looking bad, had a good spring with those guys. At linebacker, we have some, some experience in senior Blake Marshall, who's returning for us this year. A uh, heck of a player, as you know, real, real tough guy and some speed. Uh, a senior, Dominic Ducre, uh, we're looking at possibly being a first-year first, first year starter at, at that varsity level. He's seen playing time throughout the last couple of years. He's come along real nice for us. And senior uh, Michael Marlboro started for us last year, uh, uh, all district honorable mention player. Uh, we're expecting a lot from him leadership-wise. Uh, and again, with, with, with the uh, fourth linebacker in that crew, uh, a Christian Bobo standing out as of late, and Coach Grimm can elaborate on some of the other guys. He's a junior uh, at that position. Uh, some other guys that were getting some of that rotation in there, Coach Grimm. Well, uh, we're, we're looking at several different guys. Um, we have uh, a young man, um, Grant Saison. Uh, who is is quickly progressing? He he wants to learn. He loves the position. Uh, he is a a hundred mile an hour type of kid, and uh, we just have to get him over that learning curve. And he's definitely going to see playing time. 
uh, Grayson Froberg, um, we're expecting a lot out of him. We, uh, he is a linebacker that we had last year. He had a uh, knee injury, uh, missed the entire season, but had won a spot last year. Um, but because of the knee injury, he isn't quite um, a linebacker anymore, but sort of like a Jacob Cross where we can move him, we're going to move him down the defensive line, and he's going to give us that quickness, that size, that, that uh, I, I really like as a defensive lineman. Coach Grameon, you could probably answer this question better than Coach Blocker. Mention, name some of the kids who are your coaches out on the field. You know, the quarterback always gets the plays, and he gets the place the signal caller. Who do you trust to where he's going to malign my defense up? He's going to be my quarterback out on the field. Are there in, is it is it one specific player, or do you have a group of kids who I trust to be able to have us in the right spots? Well, right now they're a group of kids.